good, well, afternoon at this point to everyone. <laughs> um, yes, we were, I was hoping to do a live stream today. Um, unfortunately, that got, uh, got cancelled, unfortunately. Um, I was going to do like a, from a centre from the hotel into the centre of Bruges, but it was that busy in the early in the morning that uh, decided against it. So just off down a little side street here, walking, uh, walking back to my hotel. Uh, just gonna have a little, <laughs> little pre-afternoon nap. Uh, we've got a gala dinner this evening, which is uh, gonna go quite late, <laughs> as they always do. Um, and then I've got to get up early tomorrow for the Eurostar. So <laughs> things are good, but I did manage to find a uh, a barber, and now I can't stop touching my chin because I've got to shave as well. <laughs> it's always good when you get a you know, shave and a haircut as well. Um, but yes, what's, well, what's been going on? Well, unfortunately, it does look like that Boris is certainly going to do something around the Northern Ireland Protocol. I think this is purely going to be a massive vanity project, uh, certainly in an attempt to try and maybe re-win back some of his uh, supporters. But to be honest, as we said before, 100, 148 people, over 41% of your party, have voted no confidence in you. That's not good. <laughs> so there are certainly going to be attempts made to try and, shall we say, win back the rump of his parliament. Um, however he will succeed in that, <laughs> we don't know. Uh, it's sort of very difficult to, to even predict what that's going to be. Um, but of course you have um, the cargo past. Of course you have, um, I believe it was Rory Stewart who took out the uh, the numbers because a lot of MPs are very, very dependent on Boris Johnson. Uh, so they're getting you know, government little jobs. So they're getting extra money uh, on top of their MP, MP salary, shall we say, to top it up. So when you took those out, you really, in reality, got at least 70% of his party when you take out the patronages that Boris Johnson has certainly doled out uh, to his party at that point. But it becomes even more interesting because these guys are now gonna start really putting the pressure on Boris. There's ultimately gonna be another one, I suspect, but they've gotta change the rules first conference is going to be interesting for him to say the least um, but yeah other than that things do not look good things do not look good uh, on down in Westminster and when things don't go well in Westminster well we're going to start seeing a lot of bills that should pass very easily under the Conservatives majority just get stopped almost immediately so uh, I'm going to enjoy sort of my, my nap and then uh, get ready for the gala dinner this evening. And then, uh, yes, I'll be flying back by Eurostar and we'll uh, yeah, see you back to normal pretty soon. So, as always, we'll uh, see you all soon.